What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to go over the FSX Pro app for iPad or iPhone. That is going to be the app that you're going to use for the Bushnell Launch Pro or Foresight Launch Monitors. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests from people that are only interested in using one of these launch monitors outdoors at the driving range. They have no interest in using a golf simulator with a gaming laptop or any of that stuff. And so I am going to do a walkthrough of the iPad app um, FSX Pro. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So this is the FSX Pro screen. I'm going to ignore this pop up right here. Um, so if you're using a Bushnell Launch Pro, you want to use the subscription trial button down below. You don't want to log in with the username and password. It's not going to work that way. So hit the subscription trial button and you get this screen. Uh, hit search. And there it's found my Launch Pro. Tap that. It will connect. And we are good to go. This uh, On this screen, you got the performance analysis and session history. We're going to go into performance analysis. And here you can add yourself as a player. And then you're going to, uh, I don't know why it gives me that password, but then you're going to Select the club you want to start out with. I'm going to go with a 54 degree wedge. You can add uh, custom tags for your session if you'd like and select the ball that you're going to use. I'm going to use a premium ball and hit next. This is the main screen here. Um, so I am going to go hit a few shots so that you can uh, see how it looks. All right, now to change clubs, you're just going to hit the club icon on the left-hand column there. And I'm going to switch to, let's just go with a 50-degree wedge. And now you can see it's got a different color, and it's over there ready to hit. Oh. Okay. So that's enough shots for you to see. So of course, down at the bottom, you've got your different data tiles. Um, you can customize what you wanna see using the gear icon and uh, put whatever else you want on there. Um, let's see. And I think you can actually put as many as you want, so. That's what it looks like. If there's a lot on there, you can make them larger, make them smaller. Oh, you can minimize them all together. There you go. So this is the standard kind of driving range view. If you hit the camera icon, you can switch between other views. Got an over the top view, side view back to the range. So one feature you see up at the top, there is a little toggle switch that says compare. If you turn that on, you can see your shots from different clubs, the tracers, and you can hide certain shots by turning the eyeball off, turn them all back on. And with the compare uh, selection on, you can see them in the different views as well. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and leave that compare button on. You've got some other features here. You can go to the ball flight view. We'll take a look at that. So this, you've got a side and a top view. Uh, pretty cool. Of course, still have the compare toggle switch on. So we're looking at both clubs. Um, on the bottom, 
you can see there's an outer circle and an inner circle that are dotted. Uh, the inner circle has dotted line. The inner circle is going to be the accuracy and the outer circle is, I believe, your total dispersion of your group. The accuracy is your shots within one standard deviation. So it's going to kind of remove those outlying shots. And if you want to look at accuracy, that's probably more typical of your shots. So that's kind of a cool feature. You can go to the table view and turn on and off uh, whatever you want. You've got pretty much everything. Go back to the table view. So, you know, typical table with all of your shots. And you can go to the club view and get this view of your club data. So that's going to look familiar for those of you that use FSX 2020 um, or even GS Pro has that as well. But that's cool as well. I'm going to turn the compare feature off and I'm going to show you this other toggle that's up at the top for target mode. So whenever you turn that on you can create a target to hit to which is my favorite feature. So I'm going to make this 75 yards. Um, you can change the size of the green, the target. I'll leave it on medium and we're going to go based on carry distance. And now you've got a green out there in the distance um, and we'll be able to hit to it. So let's go ahead and try that. Well, I actually hit that green, but it was not a good swing. And you can see that it's got these new tiles that pop up with your distance and it starts counting your greens and regulation, which is really cool. So I'm one for one. Let's just hit a few more. Two for two. Three for three. All right. And that uh, target mode stays active even when you switch from these views. That's pretty cool. The last thing that I want to show you are the reports that are available. So if you go up to the top and click reports, it's going to generate a very professional uh, report um, for your whole basically session. Um, so here you can see session summary. It's got all of our shots there. Very nice. Um, club data. And then it goes, um, by club. So you got a page for each club that you hit. And then here you, I have a page for the uh, target practice I did at 75 yards in there. It's got a little picture of the green and my group. Very cool stuff. These are really nice reports. Um, and it would be a really nice feature if you're using this to maybe teach on the range and you can um, send something to your student as soon as you're done. Um, very cool. All right, guys, now something important I want to mention for Bushnell Launch Pro users, depending on what subscription you have, some of those features are going to be locked. So I started out with the uh, free gold trial, um, used the FSX Pro app, everything was cool. Then I decided to go with the silver subscription and log back into the FSX Pro app and notice that certain features were locked. Um, target mode was locked. Um, the club data view was locked and the accuracy kind of, uh, dispersion information was locked as well. So that, that feature with the, uh, dotted line grouping and some of the other, uh, dispersion and grouped grouping circles were not available. So I want to make sure that you guys know that I did upgrade to the gold subscription. So that's what you saw today. I had everything uh, available to me in the app. So just be aware for the Bushnell Launch Pro users um, that depending on what subscription you have, some of those features will be locked. Overall, I think it is a really uh, efficient app to use at the driving range or wherever else. Um, it's pretty much got everything that you would want in it. 
and it's really no frills, easy to use. Uh, I really like the professional reports at the end. Uh, really no complaints about using the app. It works great for me. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Really helps me out, and I'll see you next time.